What's up, everyone? Go Kicks back with huge news from Fall Guys. The midseason update is here, and it is packed with awesome, including the anti-cheat technology. Finally, seems to be working. Got all those cheaters out of the PC lobbies, and we got Big Yeetus all up in our business now. Uh, plus, a lot of the maps have been updated with random twists thrown in there, like hammers, wrecking balls, or having their platforms and doors mixed up in new ways. So all those routes that you had memorized aren't really working so well anymore. Uh, I've been having a blast getting them all figured out. There is a mega thread over on Reddit with the patch notes and a list of all the map changes that everyone has discovered. Got that posted in Discord. Check that out. Make sure you like and subscribe here and on Twitch so I can keep you up to date on everything that's been going on and changing here. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what's new. All right, now while I read through the patch notes here, I've got some B-roll recorded of the new maps. So let's go ahead and get that going, and here we go. First and foremost, the new anti-cheating system is in place for PC. This has been awesome. I don't know what you guys have been dealing with, but in my experience on PC for the past you know two or three weeks, it's been absolutely overrun with cheaters, uh, basically making it unplayable. If you've been watching their Twitter, they had admitted that they had basically no control over it. They tried to put them all into their own lobby. It didn't go very well at all. Um, so they are now using the same anti-cheat system that Fortnite, <coughs> excuse me, was implementing or is implementing. And it's great. I haven't seen a single cheater since this went live. Loving it. Number two. Objects in certain rounds will have dynamic variations from, from one playthrough to the next, including new objects entirely. So this is what they're referring to with the new map variations. It's great. You're seeing here on the footage all the different map types. Uh, we're going to talk about some of those specifically later on. It's awesome. So for the first half of season one here, we had all of our simple maps. We got familiar with the concept of Fall Guys, bouncy beans, and costumes. Had a whole lot of fun. They've taken a lot of those favorite maps and spiced them up a little bit, or in some cases a lot a bit, and it's really added a whole new twist to the gameplay that I think was really, really needed while we wait for season two here. So that has been wonderful. On PC, we have added the ability to bind game actions to mouse buttons. Can't go wrong there. <clears throat> Anytime you have more customizability, you're winning. On PS4, we have improved stability when creating parties. Not sure what was going on there on PS4, but, you know, congratulations. Better party creation going. Improved stability when progressing from one round to the other. There should be less disconnections in the qualification screen and round loading now. That's a little weird. I wasn't really having a problem with disconnecting between rounds until this patch came out. Since this patch came out, I've dropped a few times between rounds. So not sure what's going on there. I'm sure they'll get that worked out. It's fine. Glad to hear that they fixed something if people were having issues with it. Bug fixes and levels, spectator mode, and improved resilience when network errors occur. Okay, good. Fix some bugs. Always good. The timer in Fall Ball has been reduced to 120 seconds. That's two minutes. Down from 150, um, two and a half. So, Fall Ball is going to be a little quicker now, which it depends on how you feel about Fall Ball, I guess. It will make those games where you're getting destroyed <laughs> over a little sooner. Lower the minimum player counts for some levels to increase round variety. Have you felt like the same rounds were coming up over and over and over and over again? I know I was. This should help alleviate that. Okay, that is it for the generic patch notes. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes that I have observed and then that the community at large has observed in the different maps. There are a lot. <laughs> Been absolutely awesome. Um, on Slime Climb, at the very end, now I didn't think they were going to mess with Slime Climb personally because I think it's a perfect map. 
or I thought until I saw some of these changes here. Um, because now that we all had a pretty good route figured out, it's okay to add a little spice to it. So on the end now, when you're going up the ramp, instead of the wrecking balls, now they have the spinning hammers. Cool. Whirly gig. We got the old big yeetus at the end there. Wait till you get to take a ride on that. If you miss it the first time, try again. It's worth it. Dizzy heights. There are wrecking balls on the spinning platforms. Gate crash. The gates are all out of sync now. Whatever, you know. Remember on the second row where it was the inner ones that were very slow? That, no. Just don't even try to understand it. Have to relearn it all. And as soon as you think you got it, it's going to put it back to the original set. So just have fun with that. It's great, though. I love it. And on hoarders, they've added uh, spinning hammers to knock the balls all around. Good times, good times. Uh, fall ball. There's automated goaltenders, which, you know, uh, they're <laughs> it's actually uh, the swinging balls again. Great stuff. Let's go ahead and pop over to the mega thread here on Reddit and check out some of the other changes people have noticed. Again, this was posted up on Discord if you want to go through. I'm sure more will be added to it. Let's see. On Hit Parade. There's now a part with horizontal rotating beams like in Whirly Gig. <clears throat> the wrecking balls are rotated 90 degrees. There are hammers instead of pushers in the last bit of the map. Moving over to Dizzy Heights like we discussed. Oh, <laughs> Occasionally, the, the discs could just be gone completely. So you just jump and go straight into the pit at the bottom where the doors with the, or the uh, walls with the doors are. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> um, the rotation of the discs can be reversed or in any random direction. The wrecking balls over the discs. Oh, and at the end, sometimes those cannons that shoot the balls, they could shoot melons and fruit and all sorts of wonderful things. I'm sure, hopefully, the footage, uh, let's see if we can get the melon jamming me up here. <clears throat> On Whirly Gig, the big Yetus, of course. Oh, at the end, the big windmill, it spins the wrong way now. How about that? Wait till you see that. It's, you're not quite sure, just something seems wrong, and it's, oh, yes, the windmill is spinning the wrong way. I think normally it spins counterclockwise, now it's spinning clockwise. And then they added some hammers after the second windmill. It used to be wide open there. Now it's just a total, total bit of mayhem with a, a field of spinning hammers to run through. That is just wonderful. On Slime Climb, as we discussed, uh, at the end, they've uh, added hammers instead of the wrecking balls. And then they say, uh, let's see, the cannon is shooting logs instead of balls. I hadn't run into that yet. The four moving bumpers... Instead of three wrecking balls in the last section, didn't see that. That sounds great. And then the last pushing beam, they're saying it's faster. We'll see. I could definitely see that happening. They're definitely trying to mess with people's uh, rhythm memories that we've developed over the past couple of weeks. Gate crash. The gates are moving in a different pattern. Right. <clears throat> Seesaw. Seesaw has a really fun twist at the end that I forgot to mention earlier, where instead of them going like this, now there are some... That to go like this. I don't know a way to describe that without showing it, so just wait till you see it. More seesaws and a different pattern. <laughs> Option number two, more seesaws, a different pattern, and some are, ro oh, well, there you go, rotated 90 degrees. I guess that would have been the smart way to say it. <laughs> a different pattern and a yetus in the middle. I did encounter the yetus on the seesaw. I tried to take it for a ride and it didn't work. I'm pretty sure the seesaw yetus is bait. You could try it if you'd like, but it might not take you anywhere. Fair warning. And then there is just the normal one. There's always the chance for the normal one to show up again. On hoarders, huge hammer on each field, like we said. That one, that, I really enjoy that. A moving bumper, that's the stack of donuts back and forth between the fields. Didn't run into that yet, but that'll be a fun twist. And then the regular occurrence. On a rock and roll. I actually, I don't think I've gotten to play rock and roll yet since this came out. That's, that's strange. Anyway, let's see. Additional moving obstacles on the upper deck. Six hammers on the lower deck and moving bumpers on the lower deck. Pretty cool. 
just new ways to spice up getting those balls where they need to be. Ball ball. Regular and a spinning disc in the middle plus two hammers on each side. Spinning disc in the middle. <clears throat> like they have maybe in tail tag. That would be cool. Send the ball all over the place. And then uh like I had mentioned, the wrecking balls as an automated goaltender. That's that's fun. DoorDash. Regular. Oh, yes, the moving bumpers in front of the row of the doors. The stack of donuts. Uh, as you're waiting for the door to drop, you'll just have a stack of donuts come and shove you right on down the way. And then at the end, a potential for a big yeetus. And finally, Fall Mountain. The only finale that I've seen changed yet. Uh, there is one hammer right before the crown, so if you're waiting for the crown to come down, you might just get hammered right off. <laughs> no hammer before the crown, but moving bumpers, and moving bumpers, and a hammer. And then so far, we have noticed, uh, so far, no changes on perfect match, tail tag, jump club, tiptoe, hexagon, block parade, jump showdown, fruit shoot. Not sure what you could really do with perfect match. Hexagon. I was really hoping to see something on Block Parade. Lots of potential for Block Parade. Fruit Shoot. I think they could just delete Fruit Shoot. Not, you know, not never was a big Fruit Shoot fan. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, hexagon. Tiptoe. Tail Tag. All of those maps I could see getting a little, little spice added to them as well. But more overall, I'm, I've been having an absolute blast with all these changes. They're so cool. Um, plus, more than anything, having the cheaters gone has really been wonderful. It's breathed a whole new bit of life into this game. Um, really gotten everyone okay with holding out until Season 2 when we're going to have all of our medieval goodness going up. What do you all think? Have you been playing this mid-season update? It's been out for maybe three or four days now. What have you noticed? Anything that I have not mentioned in the new map so far? What have you been loving about them? What's your favorite new map? Let me know. Have you taken a ride on the Big Yetus yet? <laughs> I hope so. Shoot me a clip. Thanks again, everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and come follow me on Twitch. I really appreciate everyone for stopping by and all the love so far. Thanks, everyone. Peace.